Hi, this is a Fourscore tutorial on setlist sharing. Setlist sharing is useful for a number of different kind of scenarios. For example, if you are a musician performing in an ensemble or involved in some other kind of collaboration, you can use setlist sharing to share scores and setlists with your fellow ensemble members. If you're a music librarian or a music director, you can use this to distribute scores to your performers in a convenient format that also reflects the concert order, or you can use it to send the musical work titles to your copywriter who is preparing your printed concert program. If you're a music professor, you could use this to send out scores for study that are part of your class syllabus. And those are just a few examples of the potential uses for the set list sharing feature. Now, most of these uses not all of them, but most of them do assume that the recipient of the set list has an iPad with Fourscore version 4 or higher installed on it. In this tutorial, I'll be covering a couple of different ways to share set lists. Um, the main one I'll be covering is how to share them via email, and I'll also touch upon how to export your set list using Dropbox and from there you can share them in any method that you want just as you would with any other kind of file that you have on Dropbox. So let's get started. Here I have my music library menu open and it is I've got the set list list open and at the very top of it I have an example set list called choir concert. So let's open that up. And in this set list, I've got a few items. There are a couple of just regular scores. The first two items are just plain regular scores. The third item, intermission, is actually a PDF placeholder file that marks for this example set list where the intermission in the program would be. I'll just uh, open it up quickly and show you. So that's just a convenient way to um, have a placeholder for intermission in, in the set list. And if you'd like to download this file and use it for yourself, I'll include a link to it in the YouTube, in the description area of the YouTube page for this video. So going back to the set list. And then the final item is actually a bookmark rather than an individual score. It is a single movement out of a multi-movement work and I'm including it to demonstrate that you can actually have bookmarks as part of your set lists that you share. And also to demonstrate how how that works when you share uh, a bookmark as opposed to the entire score. So to get to the set list sharing option, I'll actually go back to um, the main list of all of the set lists. So that's one thing that was actually a little bit confusing for me is that you don't actually share the set list from inside the list of um, set list items, but you actually go to the main set list menu. So here we are and um, I'll tap on edit in the top right corner and then I'll select my choir concert set list and then I will tap on email on the right side top right. So this gives me four different options for emailing the set list and here's what each of them do. The first one text list creates a plain text list of the titles of the works in the set list. That's useful for if you're sharing it with someone who does not have an iPad or who only needs the names of the works in the set list. The second one, set list only, will only send the information about the order of pieces in the set list and will not actually include the scores themselves. So if you use this option, it assumes that the recipient of your set list already has the pieces in their Fourscore music library and also that they are identically named to the scores in your Fourscore music library because the way that the set list import is going to work is it's going to try to match the titles up with the ones that you had on your library. Um, the third option, include scores, will send the set list information together with the original plain PDF scores that do not contain any four score annotations and also do not contain any 
um, any of the four score metadata for that score. So that would be information like the composer and the title, keywords and genre, so forth. So um, if you do use the include scores option to distribute scores to other performers, one thing that will make their lives easier is if you make sure that before you even import the scores in your set list into your own four score music library, that you just make sure to um, go and edit the metadata of those PDF scores to make sure that those are correct. So make sure you have the right composer and title in there. Make sure that the file name of the, of the PDF file is the title that you would want to see appear in your own four score music library. And that'll make sure that uh, that'll ensure that when you import the PDF file into your own Fourscore music library, all of the title and composer and et cetera metadata will be correct. And it will also be correct when you share that as part of a set list. So that's just something to know. And if you need some tools to be able to edit the PDF score metadata on your computer before you import it into your Fourscore. Um, I believe Mac Preview will do that. Adobe Acrobat will certainly do that. Um, there's also a free utility for PCs uh, called PDF Info that will allow you to do that. And I'll post links to all of these in the description section of this YouTube video page. And then finally, Include Scores and Extras option will include the set list order information, the scores, plus any annotations or metadata that you've added to the scores in Fourscore. So that'll, um, that'll export the set list in a format that's pretty much identical to what you have on your own, what you have marked on your own scores in your Fourscore library. So let's go ahead and use that option. So I'll go ahead and fill out these email fields and send this. So here I am in my email inbox looking at the email containing the set list that I have exported and sent to myself. And I have also deleted the original set list and pieces from my own Fourscore library so that I can pretend that I'm a recipient who is receiving the set list and pieces and the scores for the first time. So to import the set list, just tap on the set list attachment and then tap on open in Fourscore. And I get this confirmation that says that uh, the set list file has been added to my library. And um, so if I now go into my music library menu and then select set list, I'll have to scroll to the bottom to see it, but you can see that now I have this choir concert set list that I shared via email. Let's go in and look at that. So it's got all of the pieces that I expect it to have. Note that this piece actually had some Fourscore annotations that have now been imported as part of the set list since I chose the Include Scores and Extras option when I was sharing the set list. And this last item, which was actually a bookmark, let's take a closer look at that one. So you'll see that the set list sharing feature has only shared the pages that were included in the bookmark. So if I use the slider to um, go back and forth between the pages in this uh, last item, there's only two of them. And you'll remember that this is just one movement of a multi-movement work. So that's actually one useful thing to know when you're sharing set lists that include bookmarks, is that the recipient is only going to get the pages that are part of the bookmark. They're not going to get the full score that the bookmark came from. So that could be a feature or a limitation depending on how you're going to be using set list sharing. So um, that pretty much covers how to 
share set lists via email. Let's take a quick look at how you would do it with Dropbox. So to do that, let's go to the menu toolbar and then underneath edit this or rather add scores go to Dropbox. And so this brings up your um, standard Dropbox window for importing and exporting scores. And so if you wanted to upload a set list from Fourscore into your Dropbox account, then you'd select the Upload button on the top left of this window. And you'll, you'll notice that there is a Set List button that's um, in this top uh, button bar. And most of the time, you'll actually not want to use this Set List button. I'll, I'll quickly show you what it does. So if I tap on the Set List button, it doesn't look like it does really anything, but what it's doing is selecting all of your set lists for export. And you'll find the set lists nearly at the bottom of this upload window. So you'll see that it's actually checked up, checked all of my set lists. And I think it's uh, pretty unusual that you would actually want to upload all of your set lists to Dropbox. Maybe you'd want to do that as a backup step or something like that. But most of the time you would probably just want to share one set list. So let's un let's uh, tap reset to uncheck all of those set lists. And so if you want to export the set list, just scroll all the way down to this upload list and find the set list you want to upload. And note here at the bottom of this window, there's an option for send annotations, links, and notes. That's pretty much equivalent to the include scores and extras option that we saw in the email, the email set list sharing. So you can uh, turn that on or off as you wish. And then you can tap upload on the top right. And then um, that'll give you some other options that are similar to what we saw in the email set list sharing. Uh, set list only to just send the information about the, the names and orders of the scores in your set list, assuming that the recipient already has the PDF score files in their four score library, and then include scores, which will send the PDFs along with the set list information. And then this all switch, I'm actually not sure what it does. I haven't been able to find any information about what that actually does. So um, until we get more information from the four score development team, we'll just ignore that for now. So um, let's just say set list only this time. And then if you just wait a few moments, you'll see that the set list right here it's showing is choirconcert.4ss in my Dropbox account. And once you have it there, you can just um, share it or send it in any way that you would with a regular Dropbox file. You could post the set list file on a website for your other performers to download. You could put it in a public Dropbox folder if, um, if uh, other performers want to download it from a shared Dropbox folder, something like that. But um, So you have a lot of flexibility if you go the Dropbox route. So that is it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out my YouTube channel for more tutorials on Fourscore and other music and technology topics.